Hello everyone, in today's video I'll be showing you how to install this Toyota Prius mod. So the first thing that you have to do is install Open4. I have a video on how to install Open4, so you can check that out in the cards of this video. And once you have Open4 installed, I recommend you install a trainer. Um, the trainer that I'll be using today is Simple Trainer. I actually normally use Simple Trainer because it's just simple to me. Um, so if you like, if, if you want this trainer, I recommend it, then um, yeah, go ahead and download it. I also have a installation guide for this trainer, which you can check out in the cards of this video as well. And once you have those two things installed, you can go ahead and download the mod. So I have it downloaded right here. So I'll open up the mod folder first. And let's go into here. And okay, so you have two different um, versions of this mod you have one with wipers and you have one without wipers um, but the installation process for either one is um, the same so I'll just choose the wiper mod so yeah you can choose the other one the installation process is exactly the same so once you have this window open uh, as you can tell you have two different methods of installing this mod I will show you how to install it using the atom method first and then the replacement method. So if you want to watch the replacement method, then I can just I'll just leave a time frame to which you can skip to. And if you just skip to that time, that's when I'm going to be showing you how to install this mod using the replacement method. So I'll start with the Atom method. First thing that you have to do is um, find your GTA 5 main directory. So your GTA 5 main directory. Um, to find it, you go into Steam, Library, Games, right click on Grand Theft Auto 5 click on properties local files browse local files and here we are this is my Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory here is where all of my Grand Theft Auto 5 files are now if you followed my mod my open for installation guide then um, you should have a mods folder which I have right here and um, the first thing you have to do is copy update into your mods folder I have copied I already have copied update into my mods folder so I'm not going to do that but it's pretty straightforward just copy and paste so once you have update in your mods folder all you have to do is go into update time 64 and DLC packs and in here um, all you have to do is go into the add-on folder update update RPF oh wait sorry no time 64 DLC packs and you just want to drag this into here and this will add this folder now make sure that you don't drag this into any of these folders because then you'll oops um, actually cancel uh, because then you'll um, break the game most likely so once you have done that what you want to do is open up open 4 so I'll just wait for this to okay and then you want to click on Windows And okay so the first thing that you want to do once open for uh, opens up you want to press on edit mode and accept yes you want edit mode turned on so now you want to go into mods update update RPF common data and you want to look for DLC list then right click click on edit and a window should pop up okay there we go just keep this window open um, now we'll go into this folder go into update RPF common data DLC list now you just want to open this and copy the line of code that is at the very bottom this copy uh, the, uh, copy this so I'll just press Control C to copy and now I don't need this anymore and just click here after paths press enter and Control V to paste okay now let's just make this look better and now oops okay now let's double check to make sure that all the all the parts of the code are correct because sometimes even a small tiny mistakes like a mistake like this or no dash here that will completely break the game so well actually you know it won't break the game but you just won't find the mod in the game so it looks good so let's save that now let's um, edit um, extra title update we do the same thing with this folder right here we go down to the bottom and we copy this 
this code and close this and now you just add it after mounts control V now if you want to make things look night nice and neat then you can do this but you don't really have to so okay looks correct yep seems to check out okay so okay once we're done with that you want to go back 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 okay okay uh, never mind so um, sometimes the author adds in the content but never mind anyways so now what you want to do is go into update time 64 DLC packs um, Twitter Prius DLC and now you just want to copy this anywhere onto your desktop whatever just copy it somewhere so I'll just keep it on my desktop next you want to go back into DLC packs and you want to just copy this folders name so control C to copy and now let's go into mods update update RPF DLC patch just right click here add a new folder control V to paste the name and there we have it so now we go in here and we add the content into the, into the DLC patch folder so we can delete this from our desktop now so I hope that was pretty straightforward uh, pretty easy to um, follow I know that uh, normally you just have a folder which you just copy into the DLC patch you know folder but in this case we had to do it ourselves which isn't a big deal but hopefully you guys are quick enough to see what I was doing there because I, I'm, I'm used to doing this so many times that it's just like yeah, I can do it even faster than that but never mind so that's all you have to do for the add-on method so now you can start the game um, and yeah that's it for the add-on method so now I'll show you guys how to install this mod using the replacement method so with the replacement method if you haven't watched uh, the add-on method then to find your Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory all you have to do is go into Steam library games right click on Grand Theft Auto 5 click on properties local files browse local files and here's your Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory now if you if you followed my um, open 4 installation guide then you should have a mods folder and if you have a mods folder you want to copy update into your mods folder so I have it copied so I don't have to do that anymore so once you've done that you want to open up open 4 okay now you want to click on Windows let that load and okay so let's click on edit mode make sure you have edit mode enabled next you want to go into mods update time 64 DLC packs patch day 3 NG DLC uh, by the way in your DLC packs folder you will probably have more DLC packs than this or maybe some around the same amount now I have just a just a handful of of the original game files the original DLCs um, that's because you don't actually have to have all of them you could copy just just patch day 3 and G um, but I think it's a lot simpler if you just copy the entire update folder this was this was because I have a huge um, a huge like um, graphics mod installed which is why I had to cut down on a lot of files to save space so that's why I don't have all of the files I just have some some here and there you don't have to have all of them but you definitely do need patch day 3 and G for this mod I just recommend that you copy the entire update folder into your mods folder so okay you go into patch day 3 and G DLC time 64 levels GTA 5 vehicles and you should find dilettante Dilutant. isn't that like a like a um, insult okay anyways um, so you go into this into this uh, wind in, into this sorry folder then you go into replace and you just copy all of these things and just drag them into here okay let's check the readme so all you have to do here is just copy all of this 
So just select all this from here, all the way down to here. Press Control C to copy, and now you can close this. Next, you want to go into Update, Update RPF, Common, Data, uh, where is it? V levels, GTA 5, Vehicles.Meta. Oops, actually, you have to right click and click on Edit. Right click, Edit, and yeah, so search for Dillet. How is it spelled? Okay, Dillet. Dil Dilettante, yeah. Okay, so you want to find. I'll show you what you want to find. Okay, so you want to find this type of. Okay, wait, hold on. Uh, even higher. Okay, so this is actually what you want to find. You want to find model name dilettante. Uh, backslash model name. This is what you want to find. In fact, if you open up this, this right here. Wait, hold on. No, sorry, wrong one. Read me. It starts the same way. You have to make sure that the two codes match. So as you can tell, these two lines of code, they match. So we can use this. So let's close this and select all of this here, all the way down until. Uh, the next backslash item. So you can just keep your cursor like right here and scroll down until you find the next. Oh, there it is. Oh, wait, no, hold on. That's a, that's a new item, not backslash item. Although this is. Okay, so let's go down a little bit more. Huh. You should find a new vehicle model name. So where is it? There it is, Dilettante 2. So once you're here, you press Control V to replace it. Hold on, okay, there we go. And now you can save. Now we can close this folder because you are finished. This is how you install the replacement method, uh, using the replacement method. So now I'll start up GTA 5, and I'll see you guys once the game has uh, started. So I'll see you guys in game. Okay, so as you guys can see, the game has started up. So now what you want to do is you want to press F4 to open up the menu, and you want to use the arrow keys to scroll down to vehicle spawning. Now let's go down to spawn vehicle by model name, and let's type in Toyota Prius. Okay, let's just try Prius. Okay, that worked. So there we go. That's the add-on method spawned. So let's check out the... Okay, the handling is a little bit funny. Although that is actually quite a bit realistic. Okay, so let's check out the interior. Okay, interior looks interesting. Doesn't do... Yep, the electric... Uh, sorry, the digital dials do work, but... I don't know, the color is a little bit funny. Okay, but the interior looks good. I like it. And as you can tell, there is the wiper. So that looks cool. Now let's check out the um, the doors. Let's go to vehicle doors and windows. And let's open all vehicle doors. Okay, that's surprising. I think I installed a mod similar to this before, and it didn't look this good. So the doors okay okay so the doors are not modeled too well but it's decent looks okay it's okay okay the rear looks good you can even see the exhaust pipe and it's animated wow okay and the hood looks good the engine bay looks somewhat okay i think overall it's a good mod I don't think that you'll need this much detail for a mod like this. If I were to install this mod, I would use it just to like make the game look more realistic. So I would use the replacement method instead of the add-on method. So this is the add-on vehicle. Now as you can tell, the handling makes the car like move from side to side. But to be fair, this is quite realistic. I mean, cars they do like sway from side to side. 
when they are um, being jolted to the left or the right. So let's spawn the replacement vehicle now. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I actually like the handling. So let's open up the menu again. Let's go down to vehicle spawning. The dilettante, I think it's dilettante, I'm not too sure what it is. It's in sedans, if I'm not mistaken. Dilettante. Mm, not here. Okay, let's check out coops. Or maybe it's compact. Oh yeah, it's here. Interesting. So, let's hope we don't despawn the other car. Okay, that was a close one. So, as you can tell, both worked just fine. Is there any damage? Yeah. So, and both have the um, wiper. So, yeah, it looks like it worked just fine. Now let's check out the interior. Yeah, the, dial lo the dials look the same. Everything seems to be the exact same yeah just exactly the same um does that car yeah it does okay so let's let's check out the um doors but i doubt that they're any different mm, no pretty much the same yep let's close all the doors whoops and let's see how the handling goes mm. yep Still has that swing, which is good. I like this. This feels more realistic, although it does seem to have a little bit too much grip, especially for a car like this. Does it have front wheel drive? Yes, it does. That is very cool. I like this handling. It's pretty interesting, but I doubt that this car would drive like this in the real world. But it's a little bit more realistic, the swaying from side to side. Yeah, pretty interesting. Oh, yeah, and then also because it's front wheel drive. Anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This should work for you as well, but if it doesn't, um, please let me know in the comments and I will try and help you out. I also have a Discord group which you can join and ask questions there. I am online on Steam, Discord, YouTube. I'm online everywhere, um, almost every day, Look out! but uh, not for a long time. But I will answer my question, uh, your questions as soon as I can but chances are that I most definitely will see your questions and your requests or anything that you ask me so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, I hope to see you guys in a future video soon because I have finished my exams so I should have more time so I will probably be making more videos than before so I hope you guys enjoy this video and again I'll see you guys in the next video bye